some people install the Watson app and expect by just doing that to be able to get offenses analyzed and get a lot of results and that sometimes it is the case but there is a little bit more that you can do to help Watson be far more effective. So I'm going to give you uh, some of the things that I have learned uh, from it. So I'm going into the admin here on the Watson configuration and the main area it's right here property mapping. So let me show you what I did in my system to get Watson to help me more. Everything that you see here customs are things that I have added. How you actually do that you actually click here on add mapping and you select from events or flow. Remember curator can also Watson care can also uh, derive information from the flow and then you say for example hashes. Well how are my hashes defined in my system? They might be under the word hash or it might be under, you know, uh, file hash or it might be under uh, SHA-256 or MD5 hash. Or, so you have all those properties. So you need to actually, based on what you have on your system, you need to add those as I did in here. For example, on file, I have, on hash, I have file hash, MD5, MD5 hash, Actually, I, yeah, I actually have a file hash on file underscore hash as well as file space hash. SHA1, SHA256. So, so I, I want to make sure that I can give all this information to Watson for me to proceed. Same thing with domain names. Watson is actually very good when you provide them hashes and then also uh, domain names. And if you have, uh, uh, you know, username, for example, in my, in my, uh, it might be that you have username on their different uh, uh, custom categories. So you need to add those in here. This is the main thing. And as you can see, I added a bunch of things here into Curator, uh, not only on events, but also on flows. As I see here, I, as you see here, if I get a file name under the flows data, well, I'm sending that uh, to Watson as part of, uh, if it's gathered as, as part of that offense, for Watson to investigate it. That's part number one. Part number two is actually this, op this section in here. This is actually very good. This is saying, hey, Watson, if you find something remarkable, take this information that I have in here, my, in my reference set, for example, I have phishing information from FishMe and other, other stuff. I have some from my custom packages. I install, uh, you know, BadRabbit, Page, and WannaCry, and those provide, you know, a, a, a reference set with file name, uh, uh, with things related to IOCs related to these, uh, that, those malware, and domain, you know, this uh, DNS blacklist. So again, this is an example of the things that I added into Curator and by just doing that let me actually show you what can uh, can happen when you analyze an offense with that. I'm actually me actually going to all my offenses here and in fact I can watch them here or, or I can go into the Watson section uh, let me actually go in the Watson section to show you this icon. Uh, let me actually click on here so you, you can actually see the plus sign. That plus sign is precisely using what I just showed you before, saying, and you see that it will say Watson found, you know, additional stuff. And when you click to see that, then you get to see this green arrows in here which this actually says that well when Watson investigated this thing that Fran Sanchez did it found you know based on this information it found in the blue is the actions and the sequence of stuff that curator did not see in this particular offense but have seen in other places related to that that's very useful we have seen that in the past but now you have the capability of saying Watson hey I went back to your system and based on this file that Franz Sanchez adds access here we have seen that Doris also downloaded that file from a different website uh, pretty 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 good imagine the, the time that it will take you uh, to locate, uh, to, to find all that out. Continue with the 
things that I have found more useful. I haven't used the automatic investigation. This allows you to automatically get Watson to investigate some offenses uh, for you. So when you go and look at the offense, the, the, you don't have to wait a few minutes for Watson to do that correlation. Right? Uh, but this one is actually very important, and I enable this. With this is that when Watson finds stuff that is actually related, it's going to populate reference sets in your system. Let's actually go into the admin uh, tab and actually uh, see if we have an example of that or not. So I'm going here on the admin, going to my reference sets. And under here, I'm going to sort them alphabetically in reverse order. And yep, you see actually that this is one of the reference sets that Watson created, and it added three IP addresses based on, the, on on offenses that had fire that I can now also use in another rules that say, well, Watson already found this on my on my system. Use this reference set for uh, additional offenses to fire. I'm sure that by now you, you are beginning to understand why it is useful to, to give uh, Watson a hand. Uh, but it might be that, let's say that you go into a particular uh, group of events. It's actually, I'm going to take anyone here for as an example. These are events coming from Symantec, right? And let's say, and, and, and Curator was able to, uh, Watson was able to use this because there was a hash in here. But why? What happened if there would not be a hash? And by the way, the, all the custom properties, I'll show you uh, after I, I, I do this uh, in a minute uh, to, to show you how you actually manage that. But let's say that the case is that you don't see hashes in here or domains or things that, that Watson needs to find meaningful stuff. But let's say that you see the hash in the actual log in here. Right. Well, what you need to do is a process that you probably are familiar with in Curator. It's quite quite popular. Called click here, say extract that property. I want Curator from this point on, when he sees this event from Symantec, to actually extract that custom property. So, and it's actually pretty easy. All you need to do is no uh, regex, and it can be. An existing property, you first click in here and see if you have that property, which, which I do have it because I, I, I have this already done. Uh, or it can be a new property if you don't have it and then you create it and give it a name. I'm going to give it a name here. Uh, and you put a description here, it's alph alphanumeric. And then all you need to do is put the regex to actually grab that. And actually, I'm put in that regex and you see here that gets highlighted that if I were to click this in the test property next time that this event will fire I will see this uh, particular uh, custom property and I can send that one to Watson and in case you're not familiar with that uh, where you managed all those custom properties I'm here back in the admin tab and on the event I should have uh, yeah here custom in property. I went ahead and saved that test property that I created just as an example. Uh, so you can actually search here by by the name uh, and here we have that, right? And that's the, the actual, uh, with the regular expression, that's how we extract that property. We don't need that, so I'm actually going to delete that one uh, because I, I don't need it. And, and Curator is going to say, well, you sure you want to do that? And if you will have dependencies, the system is clever enough to say, well, you better not delete that one because you're going to screw something else up, which is not in my case. So it allowed me to actually uh, delete it uh, without any any warning. So I hope that by now, you you if you haven't uh, tried uh, Watson and you have not seen it uh, impress you, as I've, has impressed me, might be, it might be you may want to try some of the tricks that I have learned in here and you'll see how Watson can save you a tremendous amount of time on finding things uh, that, uh, that you otherwise will take you a great deal of effort uh, to find.